We do. Lives matter. Black lives matter. That doesn't mean that our life is more valuable than yours. It is simply making a statement that your life is not more important than ours. That we want our life to be valued just as much as a blue-eyed, blonde-headed girl driving down the road deep in her beats with her head swinging to that country song whom passes by officers and never gives them a feeling of fear. We want our life to be valued just as much as that tennis-playing kid that is a different skin tone. A lighter tone that tans red in the sun, not the color of sand that can go to the park and not be scared of being threatened by cops or being harassed because he's having a little fun with his friends and talking a little loud while they stand. It means that we don't want to have those talks with our sons about what not to do when their hero that they once shook hands with thanked them for their service is now shoving a gun in their face at a simple traffic stop. It is simply saying that we shouldn't have to demonstrate our hands raised up in our front rooms to our children who barely reach the age of eight because we need them to do everything respectively possible to come home. We want that blackness that runs through our body to be valued to the point that our sons wouldn't have to ask, why do cops keep killing our blacks? Staring us in the face for an answer that we do not want to give back. Shouldn't have to answer, but to say, son, there are cops that are scared of your complexion and will shoot to kill you even when you are innocent just to make sure they go back home to their families when you were never a threat. So please keep your hands up. No sudden moves. Say yes, sir. No, sir. And do whatever they say do. Black Lives Matter means we want our sons and daughters to we want our sons and daughters' lives to matter just as much as the back the blue families matter and that we have family that love them too. We want our families to come home too. That we have purpose. We live too. That we have fear. We feel too. That we have ambition. We dream too. That we have hurt. We cry too. That we bleed red. We are human too. Black Lives Matter. How many more lives will it take for us to matter to you? That's we too. My poetic JB, Poetry Drop Tuesday. Uh, I don't really have to go into explanation about this. Uh, I wrote that a couple years ago um, on a conversation that I had with my son. And it's an emotional subject. Because every day or when something happens... You think you're telling them the right thing to do, but literally we, what can we say? Don't go running. <laughs> Don't read for your wallet. We already got, we already got all the other stuff down. This is an issue. And when he brought it to my attention, it strikes, of course, my poetry vibes. So I began to write. And when he asked me that, I was just like. Wow, um, here we go. Uh, you know, I, I wish things were different. But there, it's not. Um, racism has always been around. My mom and dad used to tell us all the time when we were younger that we have a different walk. Literally, I thought it was a different walk. No, it was because that we were going to be discriminated against because my father's black and my mother's Mexican. So I didn't find that out until later in my life that it was because of the racism that we were going to face. And we did. We faced it. Racism has never died. It, it's been here. Um, and more and more, the hatred is starting to come out. It hits home. It hits a different way. I was very hurt and disturbed about that video. But that's just video upon video upon video. And it could have been anybody that I know of. Anybody. Um, <sighs> if I could leave you guys with anything... Just do the right thing. 
be humane to each other. If you have a voice and if you have some power and you know that things are wrong, what are you doing? Do something. So um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm done I'm done I'm I'm rambling. Um, I just it's just a tough subject for me. Um, it's it's life. <laughs> it's life. Um, I hope y'all liked it. I hope you understand what the message is. And I can I can go on and I can critique and 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 whatever because I've it's every situation I'm like no no we know what it is. Everybody that has seen what has happened it's right there in our faces. The only reason you're not seeing it is because you're turning that blind eye and you're like, "Oh, I didn't see that then." You're part of the problem. Sorry to say. But um, Poetic JB about to get out of here. Like I said, that was a poem that came from my son. My son. Uh, we had a talk and that's what came from it. So like, share, comment. God bless y'all. Be safe. Poetic JB is out. Love y'all. Deuces.